Undisputed Early Access launched on January the 31st and over the past few weeks Steel City Interactive have applied a number of updates to their game as they continue to gather feedback from their community. The most recent update has made the state of the game the most enjoyable since launch, but there's still many things missing from the game that must be implemented before full release. So I'm here to give you my opinion on what Undisputed Early Access needs next. Welcome to gaming and welcome to another Undisputed Boxing video. I've been really enjoying the prize fights on Undisputed Early Access, a rotating set of scenario fights that you must overcome and set a high score on. Through playing these prize fights I've learned many things about the game. The first thing I learned was how to use the clinch, which we all know can be an essential thing in boxing depending on how the fight is going. Stamina getting a little low? Grab a clinch. Getting battered from all angles and need to break your opponent's flow? Grab a clinch. When I learned how to do the clinch in Undisputed, I knew it would be handy for my online fights, ranked or unranked, but unfortunately, you cannot use the clinch yet in online fights. This means fights online are just pure slobber knockers every time. I'm not sure why clinch isn't available in online fights. I've seen some in the community argue that Steel Seat Interactive are still trying to find the right balance to bring it in. But like in real boxing, if you use the clinch too often, the ref will warn you when you fight the AI. So I'm not sure why this can't be used in online fights right now. Similarly, the option to push an opponent is available in offline fights, but not online. Once again, this is a hugely essential tool for a fighter in a match, and to not have it in online makes things a little difficult. We've all had those online fights where you stun an opponent, but you can't land that killer blow as they dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge all your punches. Being able to give them a little push can create the space and time to land that knockout punch and win the fight. And the final thing online that I think needs to be changed on Undisputed Boxing, and it needs to happen sooner rather than later, is the fact that we cannot change our stance in online matches. Again, it's something that you can do versus the computer, but not when facing a human opponent. Changing stance can help both offensively and defensively. On the defensive side, if your rival is targeting a specific area of your body, changing stance almost forces them to go to the other side. This allows your damaged body area to recover while the opposite side takes the brunt of the onslaught. Offensively, changing stance can open up opportunities for you to target certain areas of your opponent's body, look to swell their face or make a cut. Switching stances regularly will keep your rival on their toes and make you less predictable while throwing punches. This also hampers certain boxers online. I use Roy Jones Jr. quite a lot, he's a personal favourite of mine. And he has a trait where he's proficient on either stance. And obviously when I fight online, this trait is totally nullified. And the last thing that I would like to see implemented is sort of halfway there currently. I've noticed that we can now switch our controls to a few different preset setups, swapping some of the inputs around just in case you don't like the default setup. While this is a good step from SteelSeat Interactive, I'd like to see a fully customizable mapping option for the buttons. This will allow fighters to really set things up the way they like and also it makes the game more accessible to those who might not be able to use a standard controller in the standard way. So that's what Undisputed Early Access needs next. Do you agree with my choices? Is there anything you'd like to add? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.